Hi everyone, so I made some new clay charms and I thought I'd just show everyone. So the first thing that I made was this necklace and it's a pea pod and this pea is sad because it fell out of its place and this is what it looks like. This necklace was inspired by Super Creative Crafts and it's on a chain as you can see attached by jump rings and they have all different faces and the faces are made out of clay except for the cheeks they're painted on. Next I made this little mustache pendant and this has yet to be a necklace I just have to attach jump rings on the sides but I'm not going to be doing that right now so this is what it looks like and it's super duper textured sorry there was dog hair um yeah next I made this chibi and this chibi was inspired by the TV show Bones. If any of you guys out there are Bones fans, feel feel free to comment down below because I'm a really big fan of the show Bones. And this is supposed to be Dr. Temperance Brennan. She's the main character, so I made her wearing a lab coat and there's her hair and her eyes and her like mouth and um, she's holding like a cracked skull, if you can see that, on the side. And so yeah, this was my first attempt at like making larger chibis with like mouths, mouths, and um, like arms and legs and stuff. So let me know if you like this charm, and here's the back. Next, I made this little random speech bubble charm, and it just has like a exclamation point, so it has a jump ring. I made this strawberry and whipped cream charm, and so it's a like a giant strawberry on some whipped cream and there's uh, rhinestones so it looks like this and it's really really large um, I wish I could have made this smaller then I made this pretty small steamed bun and this is what it looks like it's inspired by the Iwaku eraser if you know what I mean then I made this taiyaki fish and it's really, really textured and shaded, and it looks kind of funny, but I just tried my best. And here's the filling. It's like chocolate or red bean. I'm not really sure, but it's that's the only thing that's glazed because I thought it would be like more realistic that way. And also, this is like the side view of it. If you would chop a taiyaki like snack in half, this is what it would look like, I think. So <laughs> I've never actually had one before, but that's what I made. And then, since Chinese New Year is today, um, or this is the second day, um, I made this little Chinese character charm, and this, I think, means, like, luck or wealth or prosperity. I'm not sure one of those. Um, but, yeah. So I painted it gold, and so it would look really shiny and metallic, and this is what it looks like. A lot of the little parts broke off, but as you can see, I, like, super glued everything. And that's what it looks like. And lastly, I made this little coconut charm. And this is what it looks like. It's like a coconut. And if you've ever drank out of a coconut before, um, this kind of looks similar. So there's a little straw and just the inside of a coconut. And it's really textured on the sides. And I decided to leave it unglazed because it would look more realistic. And then I put some like flowers on the bottom. So yeah, this was my charm update. And I hope you guys like everything. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you have any charm ideas or charm tutorials, feel free to request them down below. And I'd love to read your comments. So thanks for watching. Bye.